estamos no estreno de Frankenstein. E mirad, hai moita xente por aí. É moita xente por aí. E nada, e algúns actores e algúnas actrices están un pouquinho nerviosas, pero bueno. Bastante. Vai salir todo genial. Se trata de un proyecto internacional con motivo del bicentenario de la publicación de Frankenstein, el libro escrito por Mary Shelley. Es un libro que es una obra culmen de la literatura inglesa y creemos, o este año creímos, que valdría la pena trabajar sobre él. En nuestro centro, en Pontevedra, estamos acostumbrados a hacer eh, teatro, pero también quiero recordaros que todos los actores que vais a ver hoy aquí, no son profesionales. Es gente que hace por primera vez teatro, ¿vale? El texto, no es el texto original de Frankenstein, es un texto adaptado, son unas 10 eh, hojas, adaptadas por Tomás Costal, que es un profesor, colega nuestro, ¿eh? de parte de España venimos tres profesores, Loli Cruz, que es profesora de griego, eh, Tomás Costal, que es profesor universitario y colabora con nuestro centro gratuitamente porque bueno, ha trabajado desde hace cuatro años con nosotros y yo, que me llamo Carmina eh, y soy profesora de inglés ¿vale? Entonces... Yo quiero dar las gracias, como siempre lo hago, a Tomás porque es un excelente profesional Creo que tanto nuestros alumnos como los vuestros se han dado cuenta y el profesorado da igual, que es un honor eh, tenerlo como responsable de este proyecto. Eh, tiene un interés maravilloso, que no voy a descubrir yo aquí, pero todos los que estamos aquí se, van a dar cuenta, se han dado cuenta. ¿Qué más? Quiero recordaros que hemos hecho todo esto en tres días, nada más. No sé si os dais cuenta. Tres días. Empezaron en Pontevedra con un taller de teatro a cargo de un profesional, un actor. ¿eh? Empezaron a hacer alguna cosita como sombreros y demás. Y quiero que sepáis que entre todos, que somos 45 alumnos, 23 italianos y 22 españoles, aunque ahora aquí solo hay dos, perdón, 20, ¿eh? han hecho todo. Yo quiero que os deis cuenta del gran trabajo que supone todo esto. ¿eh? Escenografía. Todo el mundo ha contribuido a pintar todo esto. Vestuario. Aunque parezca muy sencillo, ¿eh? pero hay que hacerlo. ¿eh? Pósters. Los carteles anunciando el Frankenstein. Lo han hecho vuestras compañeras italianas. El programa de mano. Esto. También lo han hecho ellos. ¿eh? Maquillaje. Eh, escenografía, todo lo que veis está hecho por ellos ¿eh? así que yo lo que quiero que quede claro es que esto es un trabajo en equipo que el trabajo colaborativo es la clave de hoy en día ¿eh? que sin saber trabajar en grupo no se va a ninguna parte ni en Italia, ni en España ni en ninguna parte así que me gustaría recalcar esto es un trabajo en equipo ¿eh? de 50 personas 45 alumnos y 5 profesores que hemos estado eh, involucrados en esto. Ah, y por último, os pido respeto y comprensión ante una obra eh, que está hecha por gente no profesional. ¿Vale? Silencio absoluto. No digo que no os podáis reír porque, bueno, para sufrir momentos en que os podáis reír. Pero por favor, eh, sed comprensivos y tened en cuenta que es muy difícil estar aquí hablando en público y más y menos en inglés. ¿Vale? Gracias a todos. Today we bring you the story of Victor Frankenstein, a man of science who brought a creature to life. The creature was a human being, a human being possessed with intellect and sensibility, a human being who tried the face of the earth alone and desolate. A human being who faced rejection and mistrust. A creature whose creator was unable to comprehend its transcendent significance, its fundamental values, and its unyielding commitment to being understood, accepted, and duly acknowledged. Today, we bring you the story of a man who stilled the divine fire which feeds human ingenuity. 
the nature of its preservation a matter of life and death, as well as, as, as the measure of its success remains for you to be judged. Enjoy. <coughs> On this, the day of my departure, I say farewell to all of you, my dearest ones. When I come back, I will do so as an accomplished gentleman. My son, accomplished as you already are, your family is certain that the people spent among people whose customs are different when you reach as an individual and open your eyes to new ideas. You have my blessing, and I believe your mother's also. It seems like yesterday that I was holding you in my arms, and now it is time to bid farewell and wait for your return. Write those letters that we will promise and keep our remembrance alive. Thank you. Good luck, brother. Make new friends and secure good standing in the city. Although it is sad again to see you go, we celebrate that this temporary departure is for your own betterment. Thank you, Father. Do not worry, Mother. I will return, Ernest. Before you realize, I am gone. And what's in you, Elizabeth? Will I be missed? You know you will be. You know I will miss you every waking hour. Hard enough as your conscience may appear to be, I am certain that you will miss me too. You will not be right of me so easily. It is my definite intention to persuade my father to let me know you are doing last time. Spend my arrival in just a few months' time. <coughs> Sir, it is your will. He will say goodbye. By all means, Justin, bring the boy to me. Oh. Big brother, where are you going? Why do you have to leave? Are you not happy in your home? <laughs> Stay, stay, please, change your mind and stay. Oh, don't be upset, young mister. Don't be, don't cry, cry. My poor little man. It is my wish to understand how the world works. Only in this way will I be able to answer all your questions. Will you not like that? Yes. Then my leaving is requisite. But do not stay too long. Then much I can promise. Well, my coach is waiting. I love you all. Goodbye, sweet child. Bye. Goodbye, dear Elizabeth. Bye. 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 Adieu. <laughs> Observe the magnificence of the human body. Bones, tendons, arteries, sinews, organs, not one piece is out of place, but the fine, the right spot, and the whole everything crumb. Professor, Professor, is not true that recent experiments have managed to reanimate the tissue? Yes, Mr. Frankenstein, that seems to have been the case. Italian in jail, it did not no bound. Do you think it possible then to reanimate dead bodies? You are no sense here, Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a very similar process. No philosopher's tongue of panacea will save you from it. <laughs> <laughs>
pas. No, 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 Professor. I was looking forward to our meeting. Professor Krebs tells me that you are by far the most advanced of his students. Although perhaps not the best liked by your peers. I must admit, Professor, that his assessment is quite true. Pay no mind to this quiet childish life. And please, do not pay attention to Mr. Krebs' allusions. I can assure you that he speaks very highly of your talents. Despite being incapable of expressing his compliments out loud. I believe that Professor Cram didn't much like my views on reanimation lately. What? Yeah. What's your name? I hold you rather heterodox views that death is just a transitory state, and that as long as this sense is preserved, one may come or bring the others back from it. If I may, Mr. Cram, I would you best I would I would advise the compliments Invest. Invest the same degree of application in your private interests <laughs> as your medical studies. Do not expect that. Thank you with the provisions. That is precisely what I intend to do. I will explore in your powers and unfold to the world the deepest mysteries of creation. I am grateful to you, Mr. Walter, and I will feel honored if you would accept him as your disciple. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
preparation. Our crops have to stay hot through the winter. There is plenty of wood to keep us warm. And in spite of having been dishonored and spared for our mother one, we are not joyful and together. To your help. To your help, father. I was the cause of your dishonor, my love. My presence here should not be well. Come here, Sophie. For for us being the reason of our restitutiveness, you shine bright and you are our victim. That is what we all feel, sister. Let us forget the past, my love. Some fresh air will do us good. Rest a while, father. <coughs> we will return by super time. I will stay there and wait for your return. I am wandering, seeking protection and refuge. Will you, my lord, offer me shelter? My love is homeless, but I can offer you shelter. Please sit beside me. As I am blind, we will need to wait until my children return to make you feel more comfortable and prepare you a hot meal. Thank you for your generosity. You said you seek refuge and protection. What is the name of your protector? They are foreigners, my lord. German? No, French, but they have been unfairly exiled. Oh, what is the name? It is you, my lord. Do not forsake me. I implore you, save me. Save me. Who are you? Miserable Debbie, leave my family alone. Go and never come back. <laughs> No protectors in this world. Again, I'm alone. I have been mistreated by those who I have helped. That will be no more. I will go in search of he who made me. Should he cast me off anew, I will destroy him or been destroyed in the attempt. I think I am justified, but you don't think so, little spirit. Stop hiding behind that bush. Reveal yourself to me. Yeah. Ah! Oh, <laughs> you little child. I need directions and you will help me. What are you? Let me go. Let me go immediately. No, no. You see me, but you are not the only one. Help me and I will let you live. Let me go! Papa! <laughs> and your scream! You will not go anywhere! Let me go, Papa! <laughs> I see my natural company was right. My enemies closed. You shall be my first victim. <coughs> Prepare yourself, my creator. The time of your destruction is night. Where is my darling William? Have you seen him? The shadows of Dutch are approaching. 
I will enter the forest and fight you. There is no reason to worry. Wait, my friend, stay here in good company. I am, <coughs> I am fully recovered. I will be looking for William myself. Be quick, Victor, and well, return soon, my lord. I will miss a bit. We'll be back before the sun sets. <laughs> does not change, I will have no option but to retrace my own steps and return home unsuccessful. The masses of ice <coughs> impede our every movement. The North Pacific Sea remains remain a mirage for your brother, the frustrated expedition. <laughs> Wait. our correspondence as soon as I have a moment to spend. Your loving brother, Rob. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Captain, we have seen, we have seen something move in power planes. What? The, the master claimed to make us let you erase one another. Lead the way, we shall oh, see. Okay. There, Captain, they're getting closer. Where? There. Where? There! Where? There! <laughs> they will be engulfed by the tempest if they keep advancing. The men of gigantic stature have passed over the chasm. 
It will be suicide for the second to continue his pursuit. Bring him to me! Yes, Captain, right away! <laughs> perish on the open sea. Please, explain who you are and what you're going after so stubbornly. Who I am <coughs> is material. I am after I am not a limit to, to divulge. Restrain your natural <coughs> curiosity for your own good. <coughs> you must promise me only one thing. You will destroy the one you saw earlier. He will try to persuade you. <coughs> under his spell. He shall not live after I am gone. You must explain yourself further. Time is of the, <coughs> of the essence. Swear it won't. Swear that you will do as I instruct you. I swear, I swear. <coughs> the spirits of the dead <coughs> are calling me. Farewell. Here lies my last victim. <laughs> my demoniacal sight is complete. My vision is clouded. Or sails. Or snare. Our existence is consumed. Come, my creator. We must depart. Let us be borne away by the waves. Thank you.